posing gloves here and this is another video in the fl12 effects series today we're looking at fruity soft clipper and just simply what it is it's basically a limiter is what it is now it's some as i demonstrate this you are going to need to make sure that your fruity limiter on your default template if that's up is had its gain click alt click it and make sure because if it's up here it's it's not going to show the same you might get confused so alt click it to make sure that it is at the correct value so yeah just make sure you do that so here we go this is soft clipper so what is a limiter a limiter so a limiter has a threshold fruity limiter so here's a threshold we can bring it down or actually technically it's the ceiling so we could bring our threshold down or up and nothing can get past this line. It's actually a really fast compressor. If you were to take a compressor and set its ratio at a 10 to one ratio, meaning for every 10 decibels, it goes past this line. It gets re it only one decibel gets out. So it slows the rate at which something can get loud exceptionally fast. This does two things. First, it makes your loud stuff softer. And then, so if you have like, this is often a safety line and live sound. Well, it's always a safety line because if you get like a loud click or pop and you have people wearing headphones, you could be held responsible if they lose their hearing simply because you did not put a limiter in the signal chain to stop it. Now, it also will squash your sound. So things that are softer will appear to be much louder because your loud stuff will, by comparison, be much softer. So limiters are almost always a good idea to have just as a, as a backup, but you don't want to be like boosting the gain after like you don't want to do that so this has some some different options here but uh so yeah that's what that is and this uh you have attack release and so i actually recommend looking at the fruity limiter for things like that but here we have the fruity soft clipper and this is a limiter and we could set a threshold and so things cannot go past this now a few other things about limiters as far as compressors go 10 to 1 is sort of just the accepted standard of at that point it is now termed a limiter but a lot of compressors have like a 100 to 1 ratio. So you have to get 100 decibels louder past that threshold point to uh, get one decibel of additional volume. And so volume still gets through. It's just almost, it's not very likely you're going to have 100 decibels more. And if you know anything about decibels, you know that 100 is like outrageous. So the chances of that, some of them claim infinity uh, just based on the equations and algorithms that they use. So... Here we can set our threshold and you can see it visually. It's called a soft clipper because these ones have attack decay. This one has, you can actually see a curve. So as the volume, so here we have our soft volume. And as we get louder, our volume will go farther out along this X axis. And then your Y axis is essentially the volume mapping. So right now it's a one to one, but if we get a volume level that's like really loud, it's gonna be pushed down this much. And so a linear relationship is a straight line so this is essentially nothing happens to our audio as it goes through here but as we bring the threshold down you see it comes down and it has a sort of curve to it this is called a soft knee and in maximus they have this a graph that you could do this but all compressors do this some of them will give you options to mess with the knee some of them won't analog compressors i mean you kind of just get what settings they allow you to mess with but they do use a knee and so this is just a soft knee. There are a variety of plugins like Fruity Limiter and Maximus. This one's a low CPU uh, thing. And I'm not sure what the ratio is. Like they don't even let you control the ratio. It's just two knobs and you can set it up there. If you're serious about limiting, you may consider using another plugin that's got a little more stuff on it. But so let's play some notes. So there's our notes. And right now our post value, uh, we'll set it to it's regular. So that's our regular post value. And we could change our threshold to be way lower. Versus. You see it's substantially louder. So you're going to. So that's essentially what you'd use this for. Just as a buffer. And we could turn our post down. Which is the same thing as just. As you can see you can also click on the graph to adjust these things. So if we turn our post down. It's being compressed completely. So no volume's getting through as we turn it up. And the reason I had you be wary of that line is because if you're applying post gain, 
your master has a fruity limiter, which by default has additional things on it, additional gain. So it would look a little bit mischievous when you're using your fruity soft clipper, something you should be aware of. So this gain is used to adjust it after it's been processed by the threshold. It's been compressed. You can increase the volume past what it was. So you could use this as a compressor. So you could take volume in, uh, turn it down as a whole. Any, any volume that was really loud will get turned down while your volume that didn't quite make it to the remapping phase will remain where it's at. And then you could turn it back up or you could turn the whole thing down. And we get a little bit of zipper noise when we mess with this, but not that much. I'm not sure if that's just because it's not set for dynamic processing, if you were to automate it, but I don't know. So just some interesting options for you. And that's it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, subscribe, and have a blessed day. Reverse it.